A $100,000 reward is now being offered for information that leads to the arrest of the man wanted in connection with the murder of Chicago police officer Luis Huesca. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live at police headquarters with our top story. Hi, good evening, Jackie and Tamad. Investigators know who they're looking for, and they have issued an arrest warrant for a 22-year-old man with connections to Aurora. On Sunday is like what this whole nightmare began. It's been nearly one week since CPD officer Luis Huesca was coming home from work and was shot and killed near his Gage Park home. For those closest to Officer Huesca, like his sister Lily, the pain of losing her younger brother is devastating. My mother, my brothers, his best friends, we're all in that state and just trying to get through. Late Friday night, CPD put out a community alert asking for the public's help in tracking down 22-year-old Xavier Tate, a man wanted in connection to Officer Huesca's murder. Earlier in the week, the department posted a surveillance video showing Tate, who detectives say is armed and dangerous. The Sun-Times reports that Tate has an Aurora address and in March was charged with a misdemeanor count of criminal trespass to an Olympia Fields home. Crime Stoppers, the ATF, Chicago Police Memorial Foundation, the FBI, and the Fraternal Order of Police are collectively now offering a reward of $100,000, leading to an arrest and conviction. I'm furious that this whoever did this is still out there. And my brother is not. And they didn't even give him a chance. Officer Weska, a six-year CPD veteran who would have turned 31 on Tuesday, was assigned to the Area 2 Priority Response Team. Lily says her brother was a man who would go the extra mile for others. He was also encouraging, smart, driven, enjoyed cooking, and loved his family deeply. There's not enough good things I could could say about him. After Officer Huesca's friend and CPD colleague, Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso was killed in the line of duty last year. Lily says she encouraged her brother to move closer to her in California. There's nothing happening to say the violence in Chicago is insane. Where if this can happen to an officer, what, what can happen to you as a regular person? Anyone with information on Xavier Tate should contact the Chicago Police Department immediately. You can leave anonymous tips. Also, Officer Huesca's visitation for the public is tomorrow between 1 and 8 p.m. at Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. His funeral services are scheduled for Monday morning. Reporting live from CPD headquarters, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.